Hi, I'm Nick, and today we're going to show you how to resolve iOS WCAG Info and Relationships Violations. WCAG 1.3.1 titled Info and Relationships states that the information structure in relationships conveyed via presentation can be determined programmatically or is available through text. The intent of the success of Criterion is to make sure that information in relationships conveyed via visual or auditory formatting is preserved when the presentation format changes. For example, if information is stored in a table, then the structure in relationships for the entries of that table should be able to be determined programmatically so that the screen reader can present this information in relationship to the user. The most common violation of the success criteria is to use textual formatting and presentation to delineate relationships about the information on the screen without using the necessary programmatic relationships. For more details on the specifics of WCAG Info and Relationships violations, check out this link here. Link also in the description down below. Let's go ahead and fix a WCAG iOS Info and Relationships violation with the help of the Mesmer Accessibility Audit. But first, if you find any of our videos helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. Here we have an info and relationships violation brought to us by the Mesmer Accessibility Audit. We can explore the app map to find the screen containing this violation. Now that we know what screen this violation is on, let's pull up our emulator, or rather, let's launch the application on our local device so we can navigate this page using VoiceOver's navigational features. Now that we have the application launched, let's try selecting a single entry in this table to see if the VoiceOver can tell us information about the relationships of this table. Salmon Aziz plus one. Six, five, zero, five, 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 minus 1,234, no. Awesome. So it looks like VoiceOver is unable to tell us any information about the relationships of the individual columns of this table. Let's see if we can resolve this violation from the code. From the code, we can easily see that this table is created using space formatting between individual portions of a string, thus meaning that we cannot determine any programmatic information about the relationships of these columns of this table. We can resolve this violation by defaulting to standard HTML tables which have support to convey relationships within iOS VoiceOver. Here, we'll go ahead and uncomment this portion of code, which I've pre-written to go ahead and show an HTML table. And over here, we've created an HTML table which delineates the same information. Now that we've added this table, we'll keep the original table so we can show the difference between the relationships conveyed using visual formatting and using programmatic formatting. Let's go ahead and rebuild our application so we can take a look with VoiceOver. From the mobile application, we can try selecting Joe Smith in both of these tables to see what VoiceOver is able to tell us about the relationships within the table. Joe Smith plus one, four, zero, eight, five, 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 minus 1,234, no. As expected, the f for table created using space formatting still is not able to tell us any information about the relationships. Let's try the HTML table. Name, Joe Smith, row two, column one. Awesome, so now we're able to get programmatic information delivered via voiceover to the user about the relationships of this table, thus resolving this violation. And just like that, we resolved our iOS WCAG Info and Relationships Accessibility Violation. What violation do you think is the most important to test for within your mobile application? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and happy developing.